That's a reverse retrieve. It's a retrieve in reverse, just like it sounds. I'm working on re reverse retrieves and casting with Bowser, and in this exercise, what I want him to do is do a reverse retrieve out here, but we're out in the middle of a field. So if you do that, it gives the dog less, less op more options. See how he's running around and excited? If I was on the porch, it would all be very limited space if you use a hallway or something that to get the dog doing it or even my backyard it's more difficult for him to pull this off out here in the field now to do it i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing it with one object one object and as he starts dropping it in which he might not do this right off the bat i brought a leash with me i'm gonna start real close i just want to start getting success and then i'll start taking steps back at any point if he has a has real trouble with it then I'll stay right there until he starts functioning better one thing that I don't want him to do is to circle around to the back of the vessel I don't want that just put it in put it in the in the uh, in the globe as quick as possible so one, one thing to get him all charged up let him know that we're gonna work is I'm gonna throw him a retrieve and then when he goes and gets it, I'm going to have him put it into the, the globe, the half a globe, the, and then we'll start working from there. Occasionally, I might throw him a retrieve just to keep him active. Bowser, go get that. Good boy, Bowser, here. Come on, buddy, here. Now, keep in, in mind, there. this is the first time for no, him doing Bowser, this out in the field. In no. So Bowser, see, see, there's there. like put some confusion there. here. No. You know, he's, so he's excited. Around the back. No, you it's put excitement it in there, dude. is what it is. Good, good boy. He does it. We're gonna do one, one more retrieve. This is a fun, fun retrieve. He doesn't have to do it. You know, he doesn't have to wait or anything. Sit, Bowser, go get that. I don't think I'll need the leash. Bowser, don't need here. that leash. He's gonna do this. Come on, put it in there. He's dude. gonna set a record no. in this video. Put it in there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, all right. You got this? All right. He says he has it. Let's see. Bowser, heel. So no, this is body language like of the dog. Distance. We might have to stay at this distance. I, I don't know. Bowser, hold. No! Go put it in there. Yes! No, no, you got to put it back in there, dude. Yes. Drop. No, leave it. Here. Heel. See, see his energy, see how he's just like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna go run around. You have to tell your dog no. You have to start telling the dog no at times. It's Bowser all about here. control. Everybody has to use elements Bowser, of control. Sit. You just let the dog do whatever, they Bowser, become a put mess. It in there. You have to tell the dog no. Yes, heal, no, heal. Come on, he's trying to take it out, sit. And we practice this inside in my yard, we practiced it all over. But it's that excitement that causes problems. Excitement is a point where all dogs make mistakes. They bark, bark, lunge, bite, or just don't listen. Bowser, hold. Bowser, put it in there. No, put it in there. Good, heal. You got this, dude. Bowser, hold. Go put it in there. No, put it in there. Good, heel. Come on. Good, sit. Listen to my tone when we get success. Heel. We're going to start working backwards now. No, heel. Come on, Bows. Sit. Hold. Now we take Don't a few steps each time he gets success. Yes, perfect, dude. Yeah, good boy. Here, Bows. Bowser, sit. Now, if he would make a mistake, Hold. it's not the end of the world. Bowser, put it in there. But what would be the end of the world if, yes, if I didn't heel. make him complete yeah, the task? Yeah, buddy. Sit. See his tail? See his body? Now, one thing that, that's real important you should know that the revert, he likes to do retrieves, and he will respond, you know, just as energetic about doing a reverse retrieve at a point. He's been doing retrieves longer. Bowser, hold. Go put it in there. Drop. Good boy. Heal. Sit. You got this, don't you? 
Now at this point, I'll start walking back like a foot. If at any point he starts screwing up, I'll stop and I might even have to come forward. He's a good dog, he's adorable. Hold. Bowser, go put it in there. Good boy, here, heel. You're fucking great, dude, heel. See how he's into it? No, heel. Sit. He's into it because I tell him no. Fixing the camera here a little bit. Sorry. You get a better view of Bows. There we go, Bows. Come on, buddy. Now, what, one thing that's important is don't go too fast. Don't start taking five steps or anything like that. There will be a point where he's really going to have problems. What are the practical oh. purposes of this? Bows, put it in there. Teach the dog to recycle paper and plastic. Drop. Good boy. Here, heel. Just drilling the dog, man. If you don't train heel. the dog, Sit. you're going to have a mess on your hands. So uh, I sort of marked the place by making him sit. So we're working on sit. Implied stay. It's not good enough good just to get the dog trained. You have to work with you're the dog. Good, dude. Hope everybody understands good. that. Hold. Put it in there. Meaning you have Drop. to drill Good the boy, dog. Here. We're getting Come a lot on, of buddy. success here. That's fucking great, dude. This That's is the end of the board here, and train, heel. though. No, so heel. Sit. We have a little under two weeks left. Pretty good, pal. The way he's good functioning job. right now, though, he, really, you know, he could job, go home. Dude. I'd be You're fine with awesome, the job that I've done. Okay, but I'm sort of a perfectionist when it comes to the clients. Good boy, I here. spend more come time on, with buddy. the clients than my own you dogs, get for good. sure. Heel, come Sho on, the here. shoemaker's children have no shoes. Sit. Fuck yeah, dude. Hold. See, now you can no, see the distance now that we're working. Now, see how he no, went out? He's confused there. because I put the camera over there. So he starts going towards the camera. Yes, here, heel. That yes. would be common. I yes. sort of expected that. I expected here. him That's to screw great, up. Dude. Here, come back here. here. Come here. See how we're, I'm stepping back a few feet? Heel. Sit. I mean, we're pretty far right there. That that's that's far enough. I'm I'm fine with it. If he was going back and he could do it at this so distance, that's fine. Hold. I'd have no we'll problem with this. This is this is great. This is this is the distance where I know that the dog really yes. understands what he needs yes. to do. Notice yeah. my Fuck arms yeah, are out and open. Nice job, here. Come back here. Here, Notice heel. my body language heel. as well as the dog's. I know I know that Sit. me and Bowser are, are color coordinated. But no, notice, notice how I respond to the dog. The whole time I was talking to the dog, I have like an upbeat with him, telling him that he's doing a good job. But if your dog isn't oh, you doing missed. a good job put, and he isn't bow. calm, no, back and put it in there. you're screwing up. Bowser, now, back. see, he's a little bit of problem no, here. Starts so coming back, and I'm like, no way, man, no, you take dude, it back. Get the fuck out this of is, here. This is early in, in the like session. I want to make sure that he knows. No. That's that was drop. wrong. Okay. So it went over there, over but he didn't here. drop it in. You missed that. So I do time. tell him that, that he did that a good, a good job at that. that point. Okay. Because he is. That's that's you how it is with it dogs. In. They don't um. Sit. They they you know it's it's either they're good or bad like that, and that's how they read us too. It's 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 black and white. So when the dog's being good, if the dog was just being bad three seconds ago, but then all of a sudden it starts being good. You can say good. No, no, put it See, in there now. See, we're still having a little bit of problems no. here, but he, don't no. worry, Get don't worry, he's doing fine. He's just ch checking this out, making sure that I'm going to be, you know, that I'm in charge and I, I, I tell him what here. to do. But you you have to think about your dog differently. You have there to you. think of it as, as that. Like all your positive no, and negative you. reinforcement happens in 1.3 seconds. So if you're given positive reinforcement at the wrong time, you're screwing up. You're screwing up. Just don't go pet the dog or Bowser, tell the dog that's it being there. good because it's cute. That's a, that's a nightmare. That's a, that's a recipe for disaster. Yes! Yes! It is. And don't Fuck don't yeah, put... Dude. like Fuck like yeah. a, a dog like there, this heel. is cute. People want to put it in their laps when it's a puppy. That will fuck your dog up. I tell this to everybody. Now, we're really starting to get back here. We're, we're, we're far, man. Put it in there. We're pretty far there. Look, look at this little trot he's doing. Yes, Bowser! 
Now, Mother as we man. get back yeah, farther, it's, it's more difficult. But no, notice here. how when I give him That's the positive awesome, reinforcement, no, notice Hang his on. gate coming back. Notice my gate. Let's see you do it again. Faust, hold. Faust, put it in there! Now, each time it comes back, I'll start walking back no. a little bit. No, a little bit of problem. It's no big deal. If you see that right at that point when they turn around, they're confused. Yes, Bowser, no, leave Say it. no Here. and repeat the yes, command. Okay, you did it. You That's did with it. all Here, the man. commands. Here. Notice how I'm walking Here, back sit. more? Notice how I walk like an old man? It's fucked up getting old. It is. It's great. Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, hold. Bowser, put it in there. That's how he's running. Now he's running towards it. He's got a little trot going. Yes! Now, I don't yes, say anything man. unless fuck it looks yeah, like he's going to screw up. Come Keep here, your man. mouth shut. Job, sit, don't say, don't sit, say a sit. word. Don't say a word. And one other thing. If your dog screws up and you laugh, you just messed up. Like, you, you know, you're telling the dog it did something good. Don't ever laugh at the dog when it's fuck, fucking doing something Bell, fucked up. Put it in there. You tell the dog to do a task. Don't laugh if it doesn't do it right. It's yeah, so simple. Browser, it here, is. It's on, so man. simple, but people don't You're get it. Awesome. Oh, isn't that funny? He did it wrong. Shut up. Shut oh, yeah, up. Heel, Just keep your mouth shut. I use the analogy of duck hunting. If anybody goes duck hunting, they would know this, that like when the, when the birds are flying towards you, you do not call them. You're going to screw it up. They're going to see you. Put it in there. Don't say a word. You only use the duck call or the goose call when they're going away from you. Yes! See, he's yes, really rocking out yeah, here. Man. This did not take yeah. long. Fuck yeah. This is not in real time, but it's pretty close yeah, to it. You know, there's... there's you know, we're, we're at about 10 minutes, and look at how far back I am already. That's impressive. That's impressive. He's at about 300 feet. Reverse retrieve. That's like 300 feet. It's like 300 feet the dog's doing already. But did you see at the beginning of the session, he wasn't doing it so good. And if I would have been like, oh, you know, he can't do it, or like given up, or like stop working with the dog, he would have never reached this this distance but there's been a lot of preliminary work to get him here we worked on this in the porch in the house in the yard but it's much more difficult out here in the field look at how he's running look, look at that dog see that's the point where I know the dog's got it see my arms are open and I'm telling him he's a good boy I gotta go to Dollar General. I got. I just gotta get out of the house and away from the dogs. You know, it's 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 a lot. I mean, it's, you know, I'm with them all day just to get away for a little bit and clear my head. Honestly, a lot of times I'll take a bath and I'll, I'll, I'll not a shower. I'll take a bath and I'll just lay there and sort of think about what I need to do with the dogs like I sort of like same thing when I drive if I drive and nobody's in here I can sort of process where everybody is meaning Marty and Bowser and just Bowser uh, Bowser's going home first I got I got time with Marty <laughs> Marty we're gonna we got great shit coming up with Marty well I got great stuff coming up with Bowser Bowser's rocking out he just did a a 300 like about a 300 foot reverse retrieve outside in a field it's pretty good it's pretty good so we got, we got a lot coming up with both of them, and I just have to, um, you know, sort of, you know, organize my time. Sort of think about, like, what am I going to work on next? What, you know, we still have stuff to work on. Um, place between the legs. I'd like to, for both of them to be, be able to do place between the legs, like standing 30 feet away and say place, and then come into to place between the legs. Um... Do it. Listen, if they were both going home right now, I could say that I worked them and they, they are doing great. I wouldn't feel any guilt. I would say that I did my job. 
but I want them as best as they can be. That's the deal with me, man. I'm obsessive about the dog going home as good as possible because the owner, none of the owners are like me. They aren't. Everything's a lot easier for me. So the more I can get done with them, the easier it is going to be for the owner to step in where I left off. So that, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take a, take a little drive down to Dollar General. Maybe I'll go by Dandy and see if Lolita's working. Shit. Oh, God. I'm sick of the snow. Really looking forward to the spring. That, that's for sure. I have, um, I have some pawpaw seeds that germinated and I have them in some tree pots. I want to put them in the ground. I already have, I probably have, I don't know how many pawpaws I have, maybe 50, something like that. The pawpaw tree is sort of an unusual, it's definitely an unusual uh, fruiting tree. It's the, uh, it's the largest indigenous fruit to uh, North America. They, you know, sometimes they're two and a half pounds. They're, and by the way, they are, as far as price goes, they run anywhere from nine to 13 pounds, $13 a pound. I'm no dummy, you know. If I'm gonna put fruit trees in, I'm gonna put in something that, there's already an existing market. And you don't have to use any type of pesticide. No pesticide. No fungicides, nothing, nothing like that. Yet we don't see them in the well, some you're seeing them more, but you're not going to see them at you know Wegmans. Wegmans doesn't have them. I'm not really sure why. Well, I do. I know what they say. They say it's because it's a perishable fruit. It, it bruises easy. Fuck! It's nine dollars a pound. When I have bought them, and I I, I bought them like in New York City from like um, somebody that has asked me, like, as soon as you have product, let me know. Um, but, but they're, you know, they're, they're $9 a pound, so when you put them in a box and everything, you, you know, they're all, like, in that sort of, like, um, not, it's not Excelsior, but it's, like, this sort of, like, um, cellophane, wispy stuff that, you know, you would pack fruit in. So, I, I, you know, keep them at $9 a pound and tell the people that are stocking the shelves to be careful with them. But it's not, it's not really an issue, and I'll tell you why. It's because if you take them off the tree when they're still a little bit hard, you got three weeks. You, got, you could have up to three weeks. So, depending on, you know, when you take them off the tree or whatever, you're going to get two, three weeks. It's worth it. And... Different, different trees, different varieties will, you know, finish fruiting at, you know, they'll become ripe at different times. You might, I might have a tree up here that might start uh, finishing out in September, early September, and then I'll have some that are finishing out, you know, October 20th, something like that. It makes no sense. So it, 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 if there's like all these... I'm not the only person that's growing these. There's a lot of people growing them now. But if you have somebody in Georgia whose their 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 fruit is, um, you know, uh, ready for market in um, late July, August, early September, and then you ha you know, as as you go up the seaboard, there's different different areas that the pawpaws are going to be ready to harvest. They're, they are delicious. Just make sure that you eat them when they're real soft. You want them real soft like a soft banana. If you cut them open and they're still hard, they're not very good. They aren't. But, boy, give give that pawpaw another week or something, a week and a half. It's like, wow. I, I mean this. I, I really mean this. Like, that fruit is described as custard. It's, it's custard-like. You take that pulp and you freeze that, and I, I swear to God, it's some of the best, like, just ice cream I've ever had. You don't, I did a video where I'm like making ice cream out of it, like adding cream and, ch it means nothing. I swear to God, it means nothing. Don't cook with it, because if you cook with pawpaws, you can, you can. You can use it like you would use a banana, but 
it just sort of destroys the taste. The taste is like this really delicate, like, a, you know, cross between a banana, a pineapple, a mango, with a little bit of vanilla and strawberry in there. For lack of a better description, that's that's sort of what they're like. But, um, so I got those, those potted up, they're ready to go. Hopefully I'll see some, you know, I, I, um, I made sure they were germinating before I put them in the tree pots and it could be, I could see shoots within two weeks or two months. It's an erratic kind of tree for sure. It is, they grow slow. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is an experiment where my plan is to take a few of them and grow them under 24 seven light. And then come the fall, I'll take them, put them outside, let them finish out, let the leaves drop, bring them back inside and put them back underneath 24 seven light and see if I can get growth on them. Because that, that's a huge problem. They had to be six foot tall to fruit. So the quicker that you could get them up to six foot tall, I don't know, I'm just thinking of like, you know, um, I don't know. Anyway, I'm a Dollar General. It's, it's uh, January 31st, they're bringing the spring stuff back in. I fucking love it. I do, I love it. March is the month I really look forward to because, you know, April's the next month and then May, May 15th, it, it starts getting pretty warm. I can put plants in the ground. Uh, I don't think I'll ever buy any of this garbage. That's like, uh, that's like grandma stuff. Look, it's the world's smallest Labrador. Yesterday, Bowser did a reverse retrieve. It was probably about 300 feet. I'm gonna take this and put it at the other end of the field. That's probably about 500 feet. So very long distance for a dog to do a reverse retrieve. This might be the long, well, He's, uh, he's up there as far as like reverse retrieving goes and the dogs that I've trained, like as far as distance goes, he's right on this. Bowser, you're a good boy, right? You're gonna do it? He says he's gonna do it, let's see. Come on, buddy, heel. Some guy the other day was telling me that this dog is better groomed than me, which is absurd because Bowser hasn't been groomed in a while. And why are you worried about how I look? I'm a dog trainer, artist, no. you know, I. If I'm making something, I'm not gonna. Oh, what, 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 oh man, I'm gonna do a video. I better put on some, some clean clothes. So let me let me put on a suit and tie and comb my hair. Are you kidding me? I got shit to do. If you're worried about how the dog trainer looks, you got your head up your ass. Look at this. Look at this. He's doing 500 feet here. 500 feet. Look at how far he is. 500 feet. 500 feet. Here. Yes! Five hundred feet this dog just did. Come on, buddy. That's kick ass. Dude. Awesome. See him running back? He knows he did good. Did I told him that he did good. You did it. Wanna do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. You can do it and we're still working on this. Do we're still doing cool. some see his tail, see his tail wagon. Now uh, it's okay if he has a little problem. And he, he stops or something, as long as the, the dog gives you a refusal and you can make the dog compliant by saying no and repeating the command, you're good to go. This guy's good to go, man. He could, he could He's doing everything. He can pick up the keys. He does reverse retrieves. He's casting. He does a dummy launcher. He was gun shy at a time. He catches a Frisbee now. He was shy of the Frisbee. So this dog's in a lot better shape going back. There's no reason that the owner can't step in and do exactly what I'm doing, and that's yeah, gonna be my here. suggestion. On, Just go over everything, right? When you when the dog, well, they come up and do lessons, and we'll go over everything, but the owner will need to start working with him going over all this. Now, he, here, I put the camera here. Now watch, see, there's a problem. He sees the camera and he drops it. Now I scream at him to pick it up and hold, you know, hold. And he starts coming back towards me. And I don't want him doing that. I want him to finish the retrieve. So I'm using my voice to get... See, see him looking at the camera? It flips him out. Anything that's different. He did it, though.
Look at how long it takes us to walk, and I have the, the video sped up. That one was difficult for him because I fired this. So let's try it again without firing this. There is somebody shooting a gun up there, but that's that's not going to affect him. But the, the gun... Get off of me, man. Don't get on me. Don't, don't ever let your dog do that. Right? If they're climbing on you or your kids or the dog's leaning on you, you're really going to have a problem. You need to respond and make sure that the dog knows because you're down low isn't an invitation to crawl up in, in your lap. And if you get a puppy, for God's sakes, don't let the puppy crawl on your children or else you're going to have issues with this. They're always going to go back to that. You're influencing the dog at an early age. Don't put the puppy in your lap, okay? You, you do that with your kids. You want to give the kids something. I just saw somebody on Facebook that just got a puppy over Christmas. What's the shot that I see? The kids with the dog and the dogs climbing in their lap. The dog's going to be a fucking mess. It's going to be a mess. Here, heel. That is a very I've good boy. I've got Marty with me. Marty, get over here, brother. I got, I got Marty with me, and we're going to do the same exercise we did with Bowser. Now, keep in mind, Marty is a fraction of the size of Bowser. So he doesn't have to do 300 feet. No way. If, if, if he could do... Listen, if either dog does 20 feet, which Bowser already did much farther than 20 feet, that's good. That's good. Hey, Marty, come here, brother. I'm going to start off the, the sort of different. I'm just going to have Marty start doing it. I'm not going to throw him a retrieve. So I'll start from, from about here and work my way back. Marty, get over here, brother. Marty, hold. Hold. Marty, put it in there. And he gets that yeah, one. Yeah, you got it, dude. Come on, brother. Now, he's not used to doing it in this. 